Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Queener coming back to you again today. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. So, um, <laughs> we have had a fairly, as far as crypto goes, some fairly good days here, I would say. Uh, we saw quite a pump from Bitcoin. We've almost hit, or got, almost gotten to the all-time high. Uh, we're just, what is it, uh, just uh, about a, th a little over $1,000 under the all-time high. Um, so, that's good. That's good, because the higher Bitcoin goes, we know where that money's going once, uh, once the selling starts. So, hopefully within the next uh, little while, I mean, like I said before, I don't really think, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't really think anything major for the altcoins is going to happen until after the election um, and it's kind of hard to say I mean a lot of shenanigans going on we had ballot boxes uh, catching fire you know being set on fire I should say by certain crazy looking individuals um, we have a lot of reports of cheating we have a lot of stuff going on right uh, we know any any sane person who's been paying attention and it's it's very important to pay attention a lot of people really don't they let uh, they just allow themselves to be told what's going on rather than actually looking for themselves and you know that's the easiest easiest way to do things yeah we're all busy we have lives but the important part of this is if we don't have the right leadership your life could be effectively over right if we don't have the right person in the highest office in this land there is no way after this election cycle there's no way this country is coming back I mean that's just my belief um, we've never had a situation quite like this before and I mean I, I'm in I'm fully um, in the mindset that we absolutely need someone which would be Trump in office because he actually cares about the people in this country no country is anything without the people and the problem that we've had over the last four years with the people who are who have been in office um, have not cared about us but I'm gonna get into all that in just a second I did want to spend a little bit more time on crypto now all of us who have really kind of been staying with XRP I mean <laughs> you know XRP I, I think it is <laughs> let's let's look at all it is look how look how uh, like <laughs> stable it has been that's you know obviously that's why a lot of people have called it a stable coin but the crazy thing about it is that 2017 was the all-time high whereas everything else per, pretty much has reached reached on uh, uh, the new all-time high in the 2021 uh, time period but it's 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 pretty crazy how all this is and, and the thing is is that XRP XRP probably has the um, some of the the highest usage out there um so and i could be wrong about that but I, i'm pretty sure that xrp is being used by uh, i would say entities that are not really involved with crypto so much you know outside of bitcoin and ethereum um they it, it's had the most how could i the corporate use maybe but either way uh, it's pretty interesting how everything's kind of shaken out with it. Uh, hopefully, we'll we'll get another all-time high. It, it'll it'll be shocking if we do, to be honest with you. And I still have my little stash. I mean, I'm sure you guys uh, do too. But yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. Now, um, there's other other than that, there isn't a whole lot going on with crypto, right? We had the pump here. A little bit of a pump here with Bitcoin. Uh, right now, it's stalled out pretty much. 
I don't think we're going to hit this until uh, this new cycle. We have another week next Tuesday for the election. Um, it's going to be pretty dicey, I think. Uh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys, too, is just make sure you have things um, available. Your protection, food, water, um, and, um, you know, somewhere, some shelter, right? We could see some interesting times. Uh, some things get pretty interesting here uh, after, in the days after the election, depending on which way it goes. I, I think either way, it's going to be a little bit crazy. But um, I think I mentioned this before. If Trump does get, you know, if, if they're able to hold off the steel and, and, and get Trump in uh, without, you know, any craziness uh, during the election, you know, like they did last time where they were faking and, and you know, doing the all of a sudden, oh, we can't uh, count the votes now. And then all of a sudden, you know, there's a huge jump. Um, if, if things go properly, I think in the days after, it's going to be very crazy. So um, just like I said, make sure you have a way to protect yourselves and your families. Make sure you have food and water and, and, and a and shelter you have a backup place as well because it's just hard to say what's going to happen there are millions of well i don't know about millions of uh, of 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 possible combatants in the country i don't i'm not absolutely sure about that uh how many but i know there are at least hundreds of thousands and you know this is across the country so just take care of yourselves out there um now, some other things that I kind of wanted to get into, I'm, I'm going to try to talk about it. I don't know what the, <laughs> the YT is going to do about it, but, you know, I mean, I don't know if some of you guys have, have seen it or not, uh, but I'm going to mention it. Now, I'm not sure if you, you guys, you, I'm sure most of you know who Candace Owens is. Now, she has done a deep dive into the um, <laughs> the presidential hopeful, you know, the female pre presidential hopeful. And it turns out, and this is something that um, I had looked into before, and I knew uh, she wasn't who she was saying she is. She's not, you know, she's not African-American. She's not, or black American, or, uh, you know, a fin foundational black American nothing like that in fact she's not actually black at all even her father even though they look uh you know you could easily say oh well she looks it actually she's not um candace owen has or owens has fully proven this and she's shown her affiliations uh the last and if you go to rumble and actually this is on youtube as well, I'm not sure if if it's been pulled down. I didn't look for it today, but I watched it the other day. Um, it turns out that she has some affiliations with some very unscrupulous groups that reside in uh, Latin areas <laughs> of of America and uh, South America, primarily, I think, in uh, Mexico. I'm sure you guys get the hint. Uh, they sent some of their um, guys up here. Uh, so apparently, uh, while she was in San Francisco, the money behind her actually came from these people. And some people came up, um, how should I say it, uh, not breathing anymore because of information they had and the 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 threat that they were going to actually say something about it so yeah when you get a chance or if you guys get a chance look up candace candace owens uh latest video it's one of the latest i think it came out um i don't know if it was yesterday or the day before but uh she goes into it she actually interviewed uh a guy who was around you know some years ago back in the I think it was like 90s or 
maybe the 80s. And um, I think, actually, I think it was in the 90s because I think possibly before that she hadn't quite uh, done a whole lot. But either way, uh, one, of the col one of their colleagues uh, came up, deleted, and this other guy is talking about uh, what was actually going on and, and basically, you know, her affiliations. And it's very disturbing that, I mean, honestly, guys, we have, uh, I mean, this is like a movie. It's like a, it's like a damn Batman movie. We literally have a criminal organization at the highest level in our government. It's absolutely crazy. This is, I mean, you couldn't make up a, a, a crazier movie. I mean, it, it's it just, and, and, and it's not that I didn't know this. I've been saying stuff like this for a long time. I'm, I know this video is probably going to get cut, <laughs> taken down, but I've been saying this to a lot of people, right? I've never come on here and just flat out said it like this, but I mean, I, I've known and I've seen the corruption that goes on, right? And um, it was really, honestly, it didn't, I didn't really start to look into it until I think it was around 2012, I believe it was, um, when, you know, when our <laughs> previous pseudo uh, black president uh, took his second term. That's when I really started to look into it. If, even before that, I knew a lot of corruption was going on, but I didn't know or I didn't look into it at in that angle. Okay, I knew like the I was, you know, I've always been heavily into like uh UFOs and all the other stuff. Um and I knew there was a lot of stuff going on with that just even from my own experiences when I was in the military. But I didn't realize that the actual like, you know, all I mean nearly all the politicians are as as corrupt as hell. I mean, it's it's crazy. And the, I mean, all this other stuff, the Diddy situation, the the Stein, the island guy, um, all of this stuff, this it's all tied together. OK, there is a whole um, there, there's a whole production. There's a whole process that was used to bring people in, you know, in the political side and then um cause them to do things that would that would give them the incentive to to allow themselves to be controlled I, I, i'm just trying to go get around some of the terminology so hopefully the video doesn't get taken down but the fact is all of this stuff is it, they're all it's all tied together and we have one chance right now and I, I'm, I'm just letting you know guys we have one chance right now to open the door and allow all of this stuff to come out so it can be put down or it's it's gonna the door's gonna be shut and I'm I'm telling you right now that if that door is shut it's gonna be shut forever. You can say goodbye to this country. Period. If if it doesn't go the right way it's over for this country. Now, me personally, I think um, it had like just because of what I've you know the things that I've studied. I think, and I could be wrong, and I hope I'm not wrong, but I think things have to go to fulfill uh, the certain you know things that have to happen or that were uh, predicted to happen. I'll say. To fulfill that, um, the country has to go in a certain way, okay? W again, we are very likely going to see some major, like, crazy stuff. But in order to go or in order for certain things to happen, I believe Trump has to get in office. Like, a, a lot of things have to be revealed. Uh, and, and I'm talking across the spectrum. I mean, all the way from from A to Z, a lot of things have to be uh, revealed to us so we can have 
um, how can I say it? So we can have the proper information and therefore make some very pertinent choices in our personal lives. And I'm not going to go any further than that, but I think, you know, just from what I understand, things have to go that way. Now, um, if, you know, if she gets in, uh, it's it's over, right? We're, we're looking at WW3. Um, we're, we're looking at, um, you know, some fallout. I mean, all every all the worst scenarios, all the movies that you can ever imagine, uh, whether it be the Book of Eli, uh, Mad Max, all of that. I mean, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about a dystopian future that will absolutely destroy the next generations. And I just don't think things are going to go that way, um, me personally. But again, I could be wrong. Now, I know this is totally off the, you know, the uh, crypto topic, but this is... I mean, in my opinion, it's the, it's more important than crypto, you know, because if, if she gets in, you can say goodbye to crypto. <laughs> you already know that. Like everything you have will be taxed to high heaven. You will have nothing just like uh, what's his name said. You'll, you'll own nothing, but you won't be happy. Now, the only, probably the only way you will be happy is if you're, you're on some type of uh, you know, medication or something like that. But yeah, we're talking dystopian future. I'm telling you right now, it's, it's, it's over if, if it happens. Because the thing is, there, there's no coming back from it. There's no way to come back from it. Um, just look at, like, look at California. Look at uh, China. Look at all of these countries. And, and I mean, I'm, of course, uh, California is not a country. But the only way to get rid of that is through force and if the military and you know your you know armed personnel are co-opted and taken uh, control of then how are you going to get around it you know if they come back if they come and say hey you don't have a you no longer have a 2a um, we'll be like Europe we'll be like Australia you know you won't be, you can't who what are you going to fight with sticks no so that's why this is the most important time uh, ever, ever, ever. Well, I won't say ever. This is the most important time, at least for the last um, probably 150 years, uh, maybe longer. But, but yeah, I can't stress enough uh, the, the importance of what's going on right now. So anyway, I hope you guys are just keeping your eyes open and, you know, just making sure you know what's going on and 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 aware of uh, the fact that you're going to have to act at some time. There's, there are things you're going to have to do to protect yourselves and your families and whatnot. So just keep that in mind. Uh, keep your heads up. Um, again, I think the things, things have to go a certain way. And there's some things that are very promising that I'm seeing happen as well. So we'll see. We'll see, guys. Um, but that's all I have for you. If you haven't done so already and you're new or whatever the case, Make sure you please go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you come back and hear what I have to say. You know, maybe you like it, maybe you don't, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe and come back, and and uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. Also, I, I do plan on streaming again. Um, just trying to, I, I get off kind of late, so um, trying to get everything in, and you know, after work is kind of difficult sometimes but we'll see we'll, we'll <laughs> again uh, as I've said a couple times we will see so all of that being said guys this has been Mr. Free Coiner take care of yourselves and God bless <laughs>